So what's the plan, Junior? Our only lead on where Sector 7 is keeping Megatron is a computer file called Project Iceman. We need to retrieve that file from their computer network. Blackout, cut off their communications and access their network. Brawl, you take out any forces that try to make a run for it. We don't want anyone calling in reinforcements. I'll distract their forces by attacking the airfield. Hey, you might want to think about a change of attire there, Shorty. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. So today we're playing some Transformers Decepticons for the DS. Uh, yeah, it's been a month since, uh, since I last uploaded. I want to apologize for that. I don't really have any, you know, like, reasonings to it. I mean, I was busy really a lot in May. Like, I was just mentally preparing for, like, a trip that I was going to. Which, honestly, the trip was fantastic. I'll, I'll say that. But I will tell you, the main thing that was really, like, annoying me with this game, like, uh, I was just getting really annoyed with it. Like, this whole mission right here was so, so, uh, like, so tedious and so annoying. It, it just got, like, like, really, really agitating. Like, I was playing this game, like, this mission for, like, roughly an hour, and it was just getting to me. Like, it was just so freaking annoying. Because... I don't know what happened, it's just kind of like, I don't know if they upped the difficulty since I was a kid, since I last played this game, but it, it's been really, really freaking frustrating. On top of that, uh, it, as you can see, there are some glitches on this game. Like, I love the glitches, but like, it's just so annoying, especially when you're trying to actually do the challenge, it just screws you up and it just throws you off. Not to mention that they only gave you, like, the ability to regenerate your, uh, you know, your, your ammo, not, like, your actual health. So, like, that, that was, like, a slim chance of not being able to defeat this game. It was just very annoying. That's one thing I didn't like about this challenge, and probably one reason why I didn't upload this video for a while. Because it was fucking annoying. So, I guess the topic on hand was... After all that said and done, how was my trip? My trip was great. Um, you know, I've never been on a plane since I was a little kid. When I first moved down to uh, Florida from being up north, I, it was just something interesting because, like, the plane, I mean, like, the plane there was rough. Like, the in general, like, experience because um, it was really hot. There was no, like, AC at all um, the first time there. I ended up uh, sitting next to two people. The one person wouldn't put down the freaking um, the window when I'm just trying to cool down and you know just listen to my music. As well as I actually experienced the uh, when you actually don't have gum in your ears and uh, like they have to pop. So that was one thing. That was an interesting thing to experience. And not to mention there was a kid next to me that was just bouncing up and down like crazy on the plane so like the stewardess always had to like yell at them you know put, telling them to put the kid in the uh in the seat belt but the kid wouldn't be you know listening and it was super super annoying but also uh <laughs> I, end, I ended up getting lost in the uh the airport i ended up thinking i was supposed to go to one part to, then to another part so i, I wa roughly did like three miles in the uh in the airport and I was surprised that there was that much like mileage in the airport that's for sure but you know lo and behold after everything I met up with my friends you know I was able to meet up with everybody you know as soon as I seen I seen the one I, I gave him a big ass hug and made sure that you know yeah I was I was happy to see everybody that that's the main thing I was happy to see everybody because I was so anxious, like, being anxious in an airport sucks, especially in a place that you do not know. That is the worst feeling in general. Blackout, destroy their satellite dishes. That will cut off their communications. But in general, overall, that was a great trip. I really enjoyed it. The convention was nice. Uh, everybody was actually very accepting and just 
very nice to be like there. Plus the food was really good. Like they had this place that was like just selling bulgogi, and I had that a good chunk of the time that I was there. And you know the people that I got to go with, as well as like hang out with, were very kind. Um, you know it meant a lot that I got to hang out with them. You know got to experience the convention together, and it meant a lot to me. And uh, you know something I'll definitely cherish for the rest of my life. Um, off the topic of that, uh, then I just came home, you know, did, you know, my usual stuff. I, I've been working, mostly, you know, doing stuff at work, living life as best as I can. And, uh, you know, on top of that, uh, my cat's birthday was the other day. He, uh, he turned 17. He's my old man. He, uh, he's an old boy. And, you know, he's a great cat. I love him. Um, and then, as of today, which is 6 7 20, uh, 23, uh, tomorrow is my mother's birthday, which now, is really fucking cool as well. Systems. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny, because there's so many birthdays in such a little time, because it's like, uh, it's like, Sox's birthday, then it's my mom's alarm. birthday, and then it's one of my friend's birthday, as well as his brother's birthday, like, literally in, like, the time span is, like, very, very short to nothing. And then, you know, so many other birthdays that I know of, and it's just, it's crazy to realize, you know? It's just something interesting. And then, like, you know, and then, you know, summer's coming on. It's been kind of hot here. It's, uh, very interesting, like... Um, it's been very rainy. That's only because of the fact that it's hurricane season and, you know, it's always rainy or very hot during hurricanes. And trust me, it's one of the worst things to deal with. Especially, like, being in Florida. Like, they're, they're fucking... <laughs> those, uh, hurricanes are pretty freaking ridiculous. They get kind of annoying and they're kind of tedious. I mean, especially, like, knowing that I've been through so many in my life. I don't know. It's not a fun thing to say that I've been through so many hurricanes in my life. It's, it's, it definitely is not a good uh, a accomplishment to say, say the least. But you know, at least I'm still here. You know, I'm still kicking. I'm still busy. Just you know, I've been trying to post as much videos as well as been trying to figure out other games to do. I've been just kind of like at a loss of what to play because there's like no new skateboarding games there's no new like updates for skateboard that I've you know can actually get my hands on and I can't you know do uh like I could do some of the other Tony Hawk games like Ride or Shred but it's only gonna be you know so much because I can only do so much of that game because it's literally broken like I could try my best but it's it just seems kind of like useless kind of pointless to do it because it's like a game that I'll play like only maybe once and then I wouldn't play it again it's which is really bad to say because you know I like the Tony Hawk series but there's not much else I could do with it I do know that there are some new DLCs when it comes to uh, session though which is really cool. I do think I want to do that, especially because like the new one, which is the water park, has uh, Chris Cole, which is really cool to see. I actually have a pair of Chris Cole uh, fallen shoes, which is uh, actually nice to say. Uh, what else? He he's also there, and then there's also some other DLCs for session, but it's nothing like big. If I if I'm correct, I think it's like one is like a development uh, park as well as some other one so it's like hard to really say if, uh, if they're you know anything good I guess I'd have to try it myself before anything but I will say I, I definitely know I have to you know first beat this game I do have another game on the horizon I, I probably will do it with a uh, trio bits project Iceman. and I go from there this is the file we want so project Iceman so project Iceman I'll say on that topic it's Megatron, and Megatron is basically, uh, you know, Megatron. Like, there's nothing else to say about him. I mean, I will try to say that the, 
that I have to try to get like higher levels on this shit, but it's difficult. It really is. I just picked up some radio chatter of a military convoy making a run for it. They're heading for a nearby village. Don't let them. Finally, I get to shoot something. Engaging enemy targets. Oh, uh, yeah. Brawl. That's one of the dudes that we're playing as now. Brawl actually is kind of cool. He's a... I think he's an F1 Abrams tank. Which is really cool because I've never, like... You don't get to play as any tanks on the, di like, the Transformer games on the actual, like, Autobots version. It's really cool. So, he's, he's like, not strong, but he's bulky, but he's, he's quick, which is weird. I do like the pivoting of, uh, the tanks, though. That was, that's actually a really cool feature. I don't know, it's just, with this game, it's something interesting. Especially, like, knowing that... There are so many good characters on this game, as well as, you know, it connects to the Autobots game, not with this level per se. However, it does connect with the other thing. And I will say that it does um, get a little bit lackluster in the sequel. Like, I've never played the sequel, but I've seen some of the things. It's it's kind of a dis like a disappointment, if you ask me. Like... I don't know, it's just like one of those games that you really hope for, and then it just lets you down. And I, I hate when that happens. It happens so many times with like so many games that I've played. And uh, I think one being like, I do like The Last of Us. That's one of my favorite series of all time. But I will say that the factor of having to play as Abby, and uh, it's just, it's annoying. It's annoying, especially because it's like you're trying to mostly focus on playing as Ellie, but you have to play as freaking Abby, and it's just you should kill fucking Joel, man. Like, why? What? Why would you want to play as a character that killed the main character on the first game? It's very annoying, but you know, I digress. But I will say some of the some of these missions on this game, they don't. Uh, they don't act proper like they're just sometimes they're really broken like that's the one thing I don't like about certain DS games they're so broken in order to do things like this one if you get if you get to those tanks and you don't stop it you have to restart the whole entire mission and it's uh, it's a pain in the ass So, I've noticed another weird factor with this game, which is really weird. When you actually get to the point where you're about to beat, like, to the next level, you have to do a boss battle. And I've noticed that happen twice. So, the first one was against Bumblebee, and then another Autobot. So, this one we have to go up against Ratchet. And I'm not sure offhand what kind of vehicle Ratchet is. I think he's some kind of, like... Uh, utility vehicle. I'm not Stand sure, they could be but uh, he's he's okay, I guess. He's he's just you there. The Nothing forces. spectacular, we'll but attack. yeah. See, Ratchet. He's just. just eh, I don't know. I didn't care to use him in the you. missions, and it's like, then he gets his his Autobot buddies, the uh, the extra freaking um, helicopters and stuff against you. But thankfully, I leveled up my my character a little bit before I was able to get to this mission. And you can get up to level 20, I've noticed. And we you actually learn more tricks as the game progresses, which is pretty cool. But and it, there it goes. I thought he was a convy. Like he almost looks like an RV. Report. A human military organization called Sector Seven has the Decepticon in prison, but we don't know their location. We've recovered an encrypted file called Project Iceman that should tell us where. Excellent. Let me know the moment you find the Sector 7 coordinates. Lord Starscream, can't you tell me more about our real mission? 
All we've learned is that a Decepticon crashed here ages ago. I have reason to believe that the signal came from my predecessor, Megatron. What does that matter? You told me that Megatron abandoned us. True, but I never revealed to anyone why Megatron left us. Are you familiar with the Cybertronian relic, the Allspark? The Allspark? You mean it's not just a myth? No, it is quite real and with power beyond your comprehension. It was within our grasp, but the Autobots launched it into deep space. Megatron went after the Allspark. Never to be heard from again until now. If, if Megatron came to Earth... And the Allspark may be here as well. So why not tell the others of this? If the others were to learn of the Allspark's presence, they would all fight to recover it for themselves. I only wish to retrieve it so that I may maintain order. I know you can be trusted with this information. For the good of all Decepticons, you must help me to recover the Allspark. I understand, Lord Starscream. Hmm, you might be a runt, but you can sure handle yourself. You can party with me anytime. Where to now? Back to tranquility. We're going to need Barricade to crack the file. Only way I can get that file cracked in a reasonable time is if I can divert more power to my co-processors. The Tranquility Power Plant should give me the juice. I think our operation in Qatar attracted some unfortunate attention. Sector 7 set up defenses all over town. Their weapons pack quite a wallop. I managed to scan one and found that their mechanical design is similar to our own. Sector 7 must have found a way to adapt Megatron's technology. Rookie, go take out Sector 7's defenses. I'm on it. Barricade. I didn't want to say this in front of Starscream's pet. The Sector 7 device also had a Cybertronian energy signature. There's no way these savages could develop that on their own. It would have to be a genuine Cybertronian power source. Where would they get a hold of something like that? Don't know. But I got a hunch the Rookie knows. It is my computer. I feel like such a loser, I'm so ugly, I'm so stupid, never learn, I need a tutor.